Sunday morning, coming down. Smell of fried chicken, you know what I mean? But anyway, today is Sunday, June the 4th, 2023. 40 degrees outside here in Capitan, New Mexico. Clear skies, looks good to me, guys. Another beautiful day in, in Capitan. But anyway, what else can I tell you? Today is the first day of the rest of your life. Make it a good one. Why? Because it's what you ought to do. <laughs> and then what else? Uh, don't worry. Never worry about what you cannot change. Don't worry about that. And then what else? Uh, that's it. Yeah, ba da ba do. So, yeah, I took a drive yesterday. I drove over to uh, Alamogordo. Beautiful drive, man. From here to Ruidoso and then from Ruidoso to Tularosa and then... Uh, Alamogordo, yeah, beautiful. Got me a pizza at Lowe's big grocery store there and enjoyed the drive. I really did. So that was the good news. The bad news, I got home last night. I was eating some popcorn. I chipped a tooth and then I looked at my tooth and I realized it's got a little cavity in it. Hmm. Well, guess what Medicare doesn't cover? Dental. <laughs> Vision. You know, the two things... There's three things that go wrong as you get older. Maine, hearing, vision, and dental. Guess what Medicare doesn't cover? Hearing, vision, and dental. <laughs> you know, they will if it's a medical emergency and all kinds. You know, there's all little things, but by and large, they don't cover it. So I got to get me a dental appointment. <clears throat> and also, I'm going to take my Class C in and get some things done because it's still covered under warranty. So I got to get the check engine light done. Uh, the uh, uh, there's something else. What was it? Uh, stabilization thing come light comes on. Not light, but it's a little printout or thing, and says to check it. I'll have them check that, and then uh, I need to get them to see if they can make the gas go in quicker. Anyway, we'll do that next week in Rudoso, maybe, <clears throat> maybe both of them. So anyway, Caravan Dan Adventures says, oh, this is on the resort, beautiful golf club house, golf cart. Rusty, you've been thinking about buying a golf cart? No, I haven't anymore. I got one. Actually, I have a neighborhood vehicle. <clears throat> yeah, I got one in Texas. I don't have one here. I don't plan to haul one back and forth either. Uh, this on the Home Depot thing. Humble Evidence Acceptor. That's a catchy name. He said he paid 10000 for a 12 by 28 in rural Michigan. Three years and $20,000 later, it's an off-grid four-season four cabin with all the luxuries of a home. So he's got thirty k tied up in a tiny home. Pretty damn good. Terry L., a beautiful neighborhood. Nice driving video. Yeah, it was just I just happened to be driving around. I'd never been through there before, and I thought, what a pretty neighborhood. And it really is. It's a little high-dollar thing. But anyway, Ralph P., Thanks for the ride and tour, Rusty. Opulent is the eye, is in the eye of the beholder. That's true. Opulence to me would be poverty to another. Probably. Because right now I feel like I'm living in opulence and there's some people that wouldn't even consider this. You know what I mean? Earthbound Misfit 313. My grandfather had a big, beautiful brick home built in 1968 for $16,000. Well, that's good to know. I'm glad you told us. Giles Leonard, do you have to pay extra for noggins? I don't even know what noggins are, Giles. That's on the Home Depot thing. Plain Air, Rainmaker's Place. We've been golf rich and now poor, and it's a tough adjustment. Yeah, rich is good. Yeah, when you're in the money, honey, we're in the money, and then you come down, life ain't very good. Falcon Eddie, see you manana. All right, well, I'm seeing you. Says he's looking forward to Sunday comment call. Well, we're here. Uh, anyway, Paul S., I love the little separate garages for the golf carts. You could move right in and make yourself at home. I could if I had about a half a million to blow. Silly Sausage 72, been wanting one of these for my arcade room. That's the tiny home. Do what you do, do well, boy. Michael Everett on the Home Depot thing. I think it would make a very nice racing pigeon loft. 
I guess it would. Louis Paparella. In the early 80s, I was in Cali for a wedding. Well, Louis, we're glad you told us that. We were wondering where you were in the early 80s. And now we find out you were at a, in a, for, out in California for a wedding. <laughs> Thought I would go to the pro shop at Spyglass Golf Club and buy a cheap shirt. Cheapest was 50 bucks. Never did get it. Didn't check on the price of tees. Might have been happy with him. <clears throat> Eastwood was mayor then. Money everywhere except in my pockets. Yeah, I hear you. It seems like everybody's got it but me. Uh, anyway, King for a day says, I bought a 20 by 30 build-it-yourself shed kit at a big box home improvement store. I will not name. Crap, wood, thin metal parts, whatever. It, it, you weren't very happy with it. <laughs> That's the way it goes sometimes. Same person there. Are, those are some nice homes. Now, what would you expect in the third poorest state in the country? I don't know. I didn't expect. If you don't expect anything... Uh, you'll never be disappointed. <laughs> FH, Rusty, have you ever considered selling everything and moving to the villages in Florida? They have wonderful golf courses that I'm sure you will fit right in and be able to afford it. Uh, no. No, I have no desire to move to Florida at all. Uh, and, and a golf village, not really because I don't play golf, but no, I probably wouldn't fit right in. I, I watched a little video about the villages and, you know, they have... I mean, it's a hell of a big area, you know what I mean? And, and you know, each little village has a different uh, group of people, and, and they're all, they do everything in groups, you know what I mean? And, and I'm not a groupie. Uh, stick people and puff, catchy name. Even if you spent, let's say, $50,000 completely finish this tiny home and make it luxurious, that's way more affordable than some terrible McMansion. Well, it is, and you know, it's just an option. Uh, uh, Oliver Jackson says Americans have the best shit. I don't see these in Canada. Uh, I don't know. Uh, you, you, they're probably around there somewhere. Somebody's making storage buildings. Diddy Holloway. Uh, Rusty, we looked at buying a lot there when the developers were starting to break ground. It was just open blank land with excavators starting to scrape out sections for future development. Apparently this was another good investment we didn't make. They have really made it into a beautiful place. Now it is a beautiful place, but it's not cheap. You know, if you do the golfing and everything, it's gonna cost you, I don't know. I, it, they have a web page. This person's name is Whack Cat. The land to put it on, that's the fun part. That's on the Home Depot thing. Yeah, it is, you're right. Uh, this is on Rainmakers Resort. Poodle Professor, check her channel out on YouTube. Pretty place, lots of coin for sure. Whoever said money doesn't buy happiness was delusional. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's true. It's like uh, H. Ross Perot said on the Johnny Carson show many years ago. Johnny Carson asked Ross Perot if all that money actually made him happy. And uh, he said, well, he said he didn't know if it made him happy or not, but it, he, he, it got him so close you couldn't tell the difference. You know what I mean? <clears throat> no, I, I agree with that. You know, you, you, you get in that rarefied air and uh, you don't want to get out of it. You know, and that's why that's where the greed and corruption comes from because people get in there, you know, you start living that high life and uh, running on that fast track, so to speak. You don't want to come out of it. You know, mama don't want to come out of it. The kids don't want to come out of it. They got new cars and going to the best schools, and mama's dressing like a queen. Yeah, she, no, you don't want to come down, man. But when you do, painful. D. Anderson, if there was a lonely old widow living there, then Rusty could be back in the high life again. Yeah, I'd be miserable, and so would she. Hey, oh, this is uh, RB Living with the Geezer. Check his channel out on YouTube. says, hey, Rusty, when you lived on the Trilingua Ranch, did you ever play golf? At Lajitas, yeah, I played there. It was a rough nine-hole course till that millionaire from Austin bought it. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, it was. Uh, I played the nine-hole course uh, a couple of times, and then I played the, the big course because I was working there uh, part-time, and I got to play for free. And, uh, yeah, but you, I only got to play when they weren't busy. You know, I mean, I, if they had tournaments and stuff, couldn't play. 
but no, it was, and, and they had one hole. I think it was 11 A, which you had you actually hit the golf ball across the Rio Grande River into Mexico on a green that had been built in Mexico, and uh, the, the 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 green was kind of sloped toward the hole. So if you hit the green, your chances of getting a hole in one were pretty good. And if you got a hole in one on 11 A, you, they gave you a golden putter or something or a brass or something. It was interesting. No, but it was. I enjoyed it. It was a beautiful course. Not many people played it. Uh, this person's name's Kinetic. Rusty, I'm over in La Luz, New Mexico. Well, good. I was wondering. My RV cover like yours has survived 80 plus mile an hour winds off the mountains. Keep being you. No, it's fine here. We're pretty well protected here and it's pretty well braced. Jeez, J-E-E-Z. I'd rather spend my $125 at the 19th hole, less aggravation that way. Yeah, probably true. That'd probably get you four beers. <laughs> anyway, tiny home, got two here. Uh, Chess Yoshi, that's not a home, it's a shed. Oh, I'll be dogged. Uh, Mimi, me, 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 that's the person's name. Total actual value with labor to build on site in 2023 is approximately $6,000. So you're telling me that you could build that home labor and materials for $6,000. Me, 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 you don't, no, no, no. You are wrong, wrong, wrong. Sashi Smith. Hi, Rusty. Very beautiful area. Gorgeous day. Pretty nifty golf course. Thanks for the share. Yeah, well, you know, you're going to get a lot of these softball things. More coming up. Yeah, you got some softball stuff today. Yeah, that's all I'm, I'm going to do. Just enjoy my life and do some YouTube stuff. Easy stuff. Because I don't edit, you know, and that's what makes it easy. Gary Dawson's got a smiling face there. Paul Benjamin on the home, it says, tiny home, says, house wrap is not good insulation. Da 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 da. House wrap, da 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 da. Thank you, Paul, for your comment. Evie Hodge, I can handle a seven iron and a putter, not like Norman. This is an eye opener. Would think this is on a tour. It's a hell of a course. <clears throat> Rainmaker community is hilarious. Those invited would be jumping out of their socks. <clears throat> I don't know. This is on the tiny home. Stufu, you li you'll live in the pods. You'll eat the bugs. You'll own nothing and you'll be happy. That was a brilliant comment, Stufu. I'm glad you left that. It's proof positive that the average IQ in the USA is declining. The Dogman Chronicles, very nice. Thanks, Rusty. You're welcome. Check his channel out on YouTube. Josh Morris, find you an oil well and come here and play golf. Uh, actually, I've got an oil well, man, right here. Here, right here in my mind. I'm me, man. I'm contented. I'm not chasing any dream. I mean, not, I've got dreams and all that, you know, like dreaming about getting my cavity fixed, you know, but, uh, you know, I, it's just I'm contented, man. You can be contented. And broke, actually. I, well, I don't know. Be close. Jo I already read that. Thomas Weeks. Nice place. Yeah, it was. It, it's a beautiful place. That clubhouse is really nice. Pete Schaff. Schaff know, know what I mean, Vern, on the tiny home? I don't know what you mean, Vern. Uh, you so grouchy. West Texas area code is 432. El Paso got to keep 915. When they split it. That's good to know, I guess. John Hogg says, yes, Midland, Odessa, 432. Well, my number's 432. I got it when I, I got Verizon service first time when I was out in Alpine, living in Alpine or near Alpine. <clears throat> and I got a 432 area code. Anyway, this is on Rainmakers Resort. Guitars, this says, thanks, Rusty. Very nice style of homes. Glorious day for the drive would love to do a similar scale down version over on the fourth street property in capitan just dreaming i'd be happy demolishing the home and adding a, a carport well do what you got to do man you enjoy your life that's the key right there how, how you do it nobody cares seven sons how come you've owned so many of them o on the liberty electric trike i'm concerned you bought more because the others w worn out i'm on a tight budget I'd hope to get at least 10 years out of it. Uh, well, they sent, uh, Liberty Electric Trikes sent me electric trikes for free to do videos, okay? 
and I did. <clears throat> no, they're a very reliable trike. You know, they're, they're very simple, and uh, no, I, I'd, I'd, buy, I'd buy one. I mean, no kidding. I have one right now. I've got about, I don't know, 100 miles on it. <clears throat> it's fun to ride. Susie Hayden, family member, lives there in Alto, beautiful area. Very good, Susie, thank you. W. Thurman, very nice and neat place. Dollar, expensive. Yeah, it's, it's, um, it's, it's pretty expensive for New Mexico, for sure. Uh, I guess, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what the price of the homes are in there. I, I imagine around half a million. <clears throat> Tracy Phillips, uh, great video, Rusty. Nice driving and walking video. Really nice golf course. Have a great day. Thank you, you too. Uh, we'll do a few more here. Falcon Eddie, cool digs. Yeah, it was. Uh, Ken St. James. Well, I'm a member of the country club. Country music is what I love. I drive an old Ford pickup truck, and I do my drinking from a Dixie cup. Those couldn't be lyrics from a song, could they, Ken? James Artis, when we surveyed those properties, I started asking how they could afford those houses. The majority of them said they inherited the money. I was surprised. <clears throat> Uh, it could be. There's there's a lot of trust babies out there. No kidding. Because, you know, this country, many years ago, there were just a few families around the whole thing, and it may still be that way today. I don't know. James R.T. says some people live two weeks out of the whole year in those houses. Yeah, it's the same way in Palm Desert, Palm Springs, California. I was there one time on business many years ago, and I saw all these beautiful homes vacant, and, and there was a guy standing in the yard. I was doing my walking. And I said, hey, man, where is everybody? And he said, well, he said, they don't come here just whenever. And and he said probably 40% of the homes were vacant year-round. Some of them had been lived in two or three years, but they were owned from people from overseas and and parts of the USA. They never came. They were vacation homes. They were owned by people from Iran, Iraq, uh, Egypt, Spain, you know, all over the world, but they never came there, or very rarely. <clears throat> but they had house sitters. They kept the plants watered and the house clean, the lawn mowed and all that crap. There, well, there was no lawns, but. This is Hunter 6719. Nice place for you, Rusty. So you love gravel so much, since you love gravel so much. I don't know if I love gravel. I never thought about it. Uh, one more here, and we'll shut her down. 348 RARI. Oh, and this is on the tiny home. California, you'd have to pay 12k to 20k in permit fees. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. Yeah, the foundation the cost would skyrocket northward of 100,000 easy. No, I hear you, man. Yeah, California, that's why people are leaving. Steve, Steve King, beautiful neighborhood with beautiful, blue, beautiful blue skies and puffy white clouds is the backdrop. No kidding. Uh, Dare Trixa says expensive but nice. Uh, last one, boondocking with Dennis. Check his channel out. Always enjoy a ride and a chat. Check out those amazing blue skies. They're, got them right here today. But anyway, guys, from Capitan, New Mexico, on a cool morning, 40 degrees, uh, 58 inside my house here. Here's the old stinking one-eared goat giving you a stinking one-eared goat kiss. Pew. Anyway, enough said about that. Thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye-bye, buy anything you want anytime, but if you think about it, use the link to Amazon products in the description of all of my videos. Why? Doesn't cost you a penny. Just click on the link, go to Amazon, buy whatever you want. And then what else? Uh, drink plenty of water, three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. It'll help you avoid gout, kidney stones, also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you will not want to eat so much. How about that? And the only way to lose weight and keep it off, and you know it and I know it, eat less, that's it. Get a smaller plate, that helps. And then what else? Uh, take deep breaths. Breathe in really deep. Hold it for a few seconds, then breathe out slowly. Why? Because that relieves stress, and relieving stress does what? Lowers your blood pressure. Is that good for you? Yes. Do that several times a day. <clears throat> and then stretch. Stretch your fingers. Stretch your hands. Stretch. 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 Swivel, swivel, swivel. Walk. Walk, walk, pedal, pedal, pedal. Exercise your body once or twice a day, every single day. Why? Because you'll feel better immediately and you may live longer healthier because of that one thing. And then stand guard at the door of your mind. This is your brain, your head, your frontal lobes, your consciousness. All those little neurons in there are forming neural links, which is every thought, dream, memory you've ever had. Okay? So, 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 
give your neurons something positive to work with. Accentuate the positive. Eliminate the negative. Enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time. At ease, carry on. Adios, bye-bye. Hasta luego, vaya con Dios. Aloha. Until the next softball video. <clears throat> Enjoy your Sunday, guys. Adios. Carry on. Keep your health. Bye-bye.